Hi there, this is Sean Broderick from Common Wisdom Daily. The commodity correction that started in silver and crude oil has spread, and now it looks like we're in a broad correction. Take a look at this weekly chart of the DBC, an ETF which tracks the Deutsche Bank Liquid Commodity Index, a broad basket of commodities. The red dotted line was the DBC's uptrend. That has broken. More importantly, the DBC confirmed a close below its 20-week moving average. Many Chicago traders use the 20-week moving average as the dividing line between bull and bear markets. The driving force for the commodity downtrend is a rally in the U.S. dollar. As I showed you last week, that rally in the U.S. dollar could go on for a while. I'd look for the DBC to fall to support around 26.5 or 25.3 before heading higher again. And there should be some great buying opportunities when we get to the next payable bottom. The monthly uptrend in the DBC is still intact, and not all commodities are crumbling. Gold is still an area of strength, buoyed by strong individual purchases of gold. In fact, gold coins are on track for the best month of sales that they've had in a year. Sales of silver coins are also red hot. But there is real weakness in crude oil, copper, and other industrial metals. And while silver coins may be flying off the shelves, silver on the CRB exchange is still under a lot of pressure. So the broad trend in commodities should be down, at least for the short term. You can play that by shorting the DBC or by buying an inverse fund that targets a broad commodity index or targets specific areas of weakness. This is Sean Broderick from Common Wisdom Daily. Thanks for watching.